So today we're going to be doing a Bible study about believers and unbelievers dating. Basically their relationships and like should they marry, should they date, you know, all that type of stuff. Let's so go ahead and get straight into it. Alright, so we're going to read from 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14. And by the way, this is NIP version. Do not be yoked together with unbelievers for what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? What harmony is there between Christ and Belial? Or what does a believer have in common with an unbeliever? So basically in this verse it talks about how you shouldn't be yoked together. What does yoked together mean? Yoked means you shouldn't be united. You know when a person married, you know when a wife marries a husband and a husband marries a wife, when they, you know, sign that agreement, whatever, they're one in flesh, you know what I'm saying? So it's like that. So when you're yoked together with someone, you're like one in flesh with them, like you're united with them. So first it says, do not be yoked with unbelievers, meaning do not be equally yoked with unbelievers. Do not be united with un unbelievers. So yeah, for what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? my yes and that's my question too like what do righteousness and wickedness have in common like what does a believer and an unbeliever have in common because the believer is all about christ but the unbeliever they don't even believe in christ you know what i'm saying so what could y'all possibly have in common and next it says or what fellowship can light have with darkness a person who's living in christ lives in light but a person who is not living in christ lives in the darkness so what do light and darkness have in common what harmony is there between Christ and Belial? By the way, y'all, I, I believe Belial is an idol. I might be wrong, but I'm going I'm to search it up and research it, and I'm going to put all the information up there if that was wrong or whatever. And Christ, you know, he's full of light. You know, that's our God. <laughs> but, yeah, so what harmony is, is there between an idol and God? No harmony. Or what does a believer have in common with an unbeliever? Like I said, they have nothing in common. So why be united? Why be equally yoked with a non-believer? We all have nothing in common. So I do have another reference. I was led to 1 Kings chapter 11 verse 1 through 5. And we're going to go ahead and read that. King Solomon, however, loved many foreign women besides Pharaoh's daughter, Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Sidonites, and Hittites. They were from nations about which the Lord had told Israel, you must not intermarry with them because they will surely turn your hearts after other gods. Nevertheless, Solomon held fast to them in love. He had 700 wives of royal birth and 300 concubines, and his wives led him astray. As Solomon grew old, his wives turned his heart after other gods, and his heart was not fully devoted to the Lord his God, as the heart of David his father had been. He followed Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Sidonites, and, Mola, and Molech, the detestable god of the Ammonites. So, the reason why I feel like I got led to this is because Solomon, you know, Solomon had a whole bunch of wives, concubines, all of that, right? And he married the woman that wasn't following God, that wasn't following his God, and that is the God of Israel, that's our God. He married a whole bunch of foreign women, like, um, Mobites, Ammonites, and Sidonites, and Edomites, and that wasn't, none of that was of God. None of those people were following God. They all followed idols. So when he married them, guess what happened? They led him astray with their gods because it says right here he followed after Ashtoreth. I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, y'all, but forgive me. He followed, basically, he followed after their gods because he was led astray by his wives because who? His wives were unbelievers. And even if they did believe in God, they was not following the way of God. A believer is someone who not only believes in God, but does the will of God. So you believe in him, you believe in what he said, you're going to do his will. An unbeliever, an unbeliever is a person who does not believe in God and doesn't care about what he says. He rejects God. But even if that unbeliever thinks God is real, how can they think you're real if he's a if you do not believe that he's real? Because you are unbeliever. And unbelievers, a lot of them, you know, some of them, they know that there's a God, but they don't particularly think it's our God that's real. It said he has 700 wives of royal birth and 300 concubines and his wives led him astray. So just imagine you're dating an unbeliever. And let's say you have a relationship with God. The more that you hang out with that unbeliever, the more the unbeliever is going to push you away from God because they want you to worship what they serve. Even in today's world, if you if you are a Christian, 
you know, if you are a believer and you date an unbeliever, the unbeliever is not going to be worried about getting a relationship with God, reading their Bible, praying and worshiping. And you're going to want to do that stuff, but you can't do that with your partner because they do not believe. And I know, I know before you get at me, like, but that's the thing. We always think us females, males do it too, but a lot of us females, like as Christians, we see, it always seems like we have the power to change them because like if they'll see god's love through us and yes we would love to see that but let me tell something only the holy spirit can change that unbeliever's heart only god can change that unbeliever's heart we can't change their heart they can see us we pray that they do but we cannot change them at all we cannot change the unbeliever okay only god only the work of the holy spirit only that so basically what i'm trying to say is that basically if you ask me this question would i go out with an unbeliever no because me and an unbeliever don't have nothing in common and god said i shouldn't be equally yoked with an unbeliever he said that i shouldn't be united with darkness so that's because unbelievers are living in darkness that's what it is unbelievers are living in darkness because they do not know christ jesus and that's why we need the gospel preached throughout the world so everybody can know who jesus is and turn their hearts away from all these idols and y'all idols are not just things that you create with your hands and stuff like that idols can be social media it can be somebody anything that you worship or you possess or you give more time to than god it can be anything like that it could be something you spend time on a lot that you should be giving mostly giving more of your time to god to like social media if you be on it a lot that could be your idols somebody can be your idol your boyfriend your friends can be your idol it's not just like the gods that they made back in the day like the golden calf and stuff like that and it's like in the world too like um, money can be your idol so many things can be your idol so the thing is if i'm a believer and i go out with an unbeliever it's not gonna make sense because that means if i marry an unbeliever it's like you're marrying darkness i don't know if that makes sense but it makes sense to me but it's like you are uniting yourself with darkness and yes god can change that person's heart but you can't do that because you're not god neither can i so i just feel like it's only right for a christian to go out with a christian because they that's like that's light fellowshipping with light if an unbeliever and an unbeliever go out that's darkness that's darkness being united with darkness and that's not good all i'm trying to say is y'all and i'm not trying to judge unbelievers and say they can't turn their life around yes they can if that if your boyfriend or your girlfriend is an unbeliever and they're pushing you away towards god you shouldn't be with them because god strictly said in his word that we shouldn't be yoked together with him and some people may say they this means like marriage type but i i take this for all cases even if we're and just in a relationship even if we're just boyfriend girlfriend it doesn't matter it's still important to know that you shouldn't be yoked with darkness because unbelievers have darkness in them because they don't believe in all one jesus christ there's only one there's only one jesus and there's only one god okay so that's all i wanted to say hope y'all understood um i hope y'all took something from that story about solomon and all his wives because basically the unbelievers which was his wives led him astray and he was the one that was following god and he did evil in the sight of the lord because of that so basically i'm just telling y'all to beware but if you are a christian you are dating an unbeliever then i pray that you be way way you be a lot stronger in christ so your boyfriend or your girlfriend can see god's love through you because we're supposed to be full of love when a person sees a child of god they should see love that's all i wanted to say y'all i hope y'all have a blessed day y'all already know what i'm saying love god love others and baby don't forget to love yourself you guys have a blessed day